solo Eros, thank you so much, my darling, for a beautiful introduction. You guys look so amazing. Wow, it's a full house. Can we just give ourselves a round of applause again? And I would like to say a big thank you to GT Bank for such an amazing platform. It's been a great day, hasn't it been? Yeah. All the brands have been out. There's been so much on display. There's been food, there's been drinks, there's been fresh produce. It's amazing. Five years ago, there was nothing like this. Five years ago, there was no Chef Eros. There was no Chef Tina. There was, there was very little you guys knew. But now, thanks to GT Bank and a bunch of other companies, we're out here doing our things. And today, we're bringing love into the kitchen, my African way. I hope you guys are ready for some fun, because there's going to be a lot of fun in this kitchen, all right? Yes, we are. Now, my style of cooking is very different. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I'm, I'm a lot of fun. I like to have good fun. I like to dress up. I like to go out. But I like to, to, I like to present my food um, in a very interesting way. Um, so today, we're going to be doing a twist on your traditional street food. So we're going three course. If we can make it to dessert, I hope we can make it to dessert. But if we can make it to dessert, it will be a three course where the starter is inspired by my bolly seller right next door. Yeah? Who's ready for some bolly? Awesome. So this bolly is very different again because it's pan, it's actually, it's actually crusted with breadcrumbs and soya spice, and then it's grilled, and then it's served with a palm oil nut puree, along with some grilled tilapia fish, probably the best tilapia fish you would have ever tasted. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to um, fillet a fish my way. And then we'll move on to main course. In Italy and Nigeria, we're going to be making a jollof rice risotto. Who knows what a risotto is? All right, so risotto is all that very creamy, sticky rice that we see like Italian chefs play with. Um, today, we're going to be making a Nigerian twist to that with a tomato base, a little spicy, all right? And then we're going to bring in some sweetness with some tomato jam. Pulled goat meat is going here. Now, the pulled goat meat, I must confess, requires a bit of time. So we've started the process. Depending on how far it's gone, I'm going to show you guys what to do if your goat meat isn't quite there. So we try to let this be as loose as possible. I'm going to get started with the main course first because that takes the longest and then we'll jump to the starter and finally to the dessert. Who's ready? All right. Thank you, guys. All right, All right, ladies and gentlemen, remember you will get an opportunity to ask Chef Eros questions as he goes along. So please, one question at a time. Right. One question at a time. Okay. Back to what? you, Eros. So where's the question? No question? Okay. All right, so I'm going to start off with a pot. Can I have a pot, please? A uh, stock pot, please? So we're going to start off with a risotto. I'm going to need two pots. All right, so that's one. Thank you. And two. Thank you very much. I'm using two pots. Why? Because I want to get this going really quickly. All right, so for the first one, let's hope this starts. All right, thanks. All right, so risotto rice. It's a short grain rice, very sticky, very starchy in texture, all right? And what you find is that there are different types of risotto. There's about three different types. The one you would most likely find in your grocery stores will be the ambrero, which is the super fino, as the Italians call it. All right, I couldn't find that one, so my very good friend, Chef Benedict, are you in the house, gave me this one, all right? So I'm gonna start off with the risotto. In my bowl, I'm going to measure about two cups of risotto rice, uh, maybe a cup and a half, because we don't have a very big pot. All right, so that's about a cup and a half. All right, that's going. Can we get this one on, please? Thank you. Okay. Spoons. Okay. Cool. Olive oil.
Have we got some olive oil on here? Thank you. Have we got any olive oil? Anyone? Olive oil. Olive oil. I don't see it. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to take some questions while you're... Do we have any questions while we we're getting ready? Do we have any questions while we're getting ready? No? I have a question. Okay, Chef Eros, if I don't have any um, risotto, can I use couscous? Can I use... Um, I mean, you can make jollof rice standard, right? You can do this with your regular jollof rice. You can actually do this, interestingly enough, with the ofada rice. It's another short grain rice that's quite starchy as well. The only difference is that you're going to get that perfume, as I call it, from the, from the ofada rice. So if you don't mind that perfume, go ahead and try the ofada rice. Um, they're asking, can they wash the rice? <laughs> or do they need to wash the okay, rice? Okay, so this particular rice um, doesn't necessarily need much washing because we need that starch, okay? So we can go in straight in from the rice with the starch. Wow. Okay. Do we have any more questions for Eros? So any more questions? Okay, so we're gonna get started with this. I'm just waiting for some olive oil and some butter. It's gone, it's run away. Okay, cool. All right, so while that's going, um, I think we can get started with this plantain. All right, so for the starter, we've got plantain. I like my plantain quite ripe because it gives me that nice sweetness, okay? So we're just gonna get the plantain peeled. So peeled and cut into three, just like that. Okay. So if you just want to help me with that. So back to the risotto. All right, my pan's hot. And in there, I'm just going to put some oil, about two tablespoons worth of oil. Um, turn on that heat. Now, olive oil has a really high burn rate, so we don't want this oil to be too hot. So if you find that your oil's gone as hot as it has, just let it sit down for a bit, cool down before you put the um, onions in, otherwise it's just gonna scotch that onion. Okay, so back to the plantain. Yes, please. Where's Ben? Thank you. Fantastic. Got it. Awesome. So we're just waiting for that to cool down a bit. All right, can I get some egg, please? So we're gonna get the eggs going for the plantain. All right, so two eggs would do that. All right, so to make the risotto, you pretty much need some onions and garlic in the pan. So I'm gonna get some onions in there to start. Traditionally, the Italians would use um, shallots. And I have here some minced garlic as well. Okay. Just gonna stir that through. All right, can we get that heat on? So while that's stirring in the other pot, can we get the butter? All right, so if you don't have any, any butter, you can just go with olive oil. 
All right, so some more olive oil in another pan. All right, and there in goes the risotto. So the rice goes right in there. And what we want to do is want to try and get that rice translucent, which is kind of clear in, in, in color. All right, it needs to be enough to coat the rice. So if you don't have enough in there, you can just add just a little bit more. All right, um, can I have a blender? So we're gonna have to go here. Okay, all right. So like with any other jollof rice, you would need to blend your tomatoes, right? So we're gonna blend some tomatoes and then we're gonna cook the tomatoes down. Thank you, just wanna go with that. We can cut half of that in there. So it's tomatoes, onions, and pep chili pepper, like with any jollof rice, okay? So my risotto rice is getting translucent, and now I'm doing all of this on low heat. Not high heat, because you don't want to scotch this, you want this to cook through properly. Alright, so for the plantain, we've got breadcrumbs in here, and so I'm just going to put the breadcrumbs, so this is bread -like slices, so you have bread slices that goes into an oven, and then you just toast that, um, not to high heat, just until it becomes crispy, sort of hard like this, alright, so you put that in an oven, um, you can toss some olive oil on it, just so that it can get a crunch, and then you just let that dry out, you can also get breadcrumbs obviously from your supermarket, and so what we want to do with this breadcrumbs now, is, um, do you have a rolling pin? Alright, so in here we have about six tomatoes, um, a full onion, alright, and uh, about three cloves of garlic, alright, so that's going to go in the blender, sorry. With a little bit of water to get that running. Chef Eros, yes. I have a question. Um, the masterclass before you, um, Chef Lorato actually made like a mango sauce. Okay. And if I wanted, instead of using the tomatoes Fine, this time please. to make this so-called jollof risotto, can I use that same mango sauce with the risotto? Um, you're not gonna get a you're not gonna get a jollof rice risotto with this one with mangoes, right? Because obviously you need the tomatoes to make the jollof rice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Please, if you have any questions, do remember to put your hand up. All right, we have a question for you. Hello, Chef. All right, so this is getting translucent. Hello, Chef. All right. Um, the rice, can we also use basmati rice? Um, you're not going to get a risotto as well, so it needs to be a risotto rice for you to get this. Okay? okay? It needs to be and a short grain risotto rice. Uh, another question. Can we also use, um, apart from olive oil, can we also use vegetable oil? Yes, no more you can. Vegetable oil? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? All right, so I'm going to add the onions and garlic now into the rice. And we're going to stir that through. Okay. Um, 
breadcrumbs. Cover that, please. All right. Yes, I want to crush them up. Rolling pin. This chopping board is best. Okay. All right. So with the breadcrumbs, all we want to do now is just sort of crush this up. And we don't want this to be too fine. So this is going to be sort of like a, um, a rough a rough texture, okay? Easiest way to normally do this would be to put this in a nylon bag and then sort of just crush that so it doesn't spill anywhere. So I'm gonna do this carefully. Are those breadcrumbs you're crushing? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Can I have a tray, please? Can I have a tray, please? So that's kind of the texture we're going for. All right. We need a tray, a tray. Okay. Okay. Yes, all of it. So if you just want to keep going with that breadcrumbs, please. Okay. Check on that risotto again. Okay. At this point, it's translucent and all blended in, so we're going to switch that off. And we're going to wait for our tomatoes to sort of just reduce and cook up a little. All right, Chef Eros, I have um, Chef Brian Malaki who wants to ask you a question. Go. Oh, over here, Chef. Chef, yeah. where's that amazing apron I gave you a little while ago? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Brian, for that apron. That apron is amazing. It's right behind. I'm going to toss it on real quick again. Oh. But I already I had to put this one on because oh, I have I'm made this I'm one. I'm kidding. That one's better than mine. That one's better than mine, Chef. And it's Take African. it away. <laughs> Woo! Have fun, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Brian Malaki. All right, so here we have two eggs. And over there we have breadcrumbs. All right, can I have the breadcrumbs over here, please? Okay. And so to the breadcrumbs now, I'm going to add some suya pepper, okay? About a tea uh, tablespoon worth of suya pepper. If you want more, if you want some more spice, you can go for that. So about a tablespoon worth of suya pepper. And then I have some chopped herbs, so some, um, some parsley and uh, some basil. So basil leaf is very similar to the, um, what's it called, uh, scent leaf, that one, okay? And into that, I have some dried onions. If you can't find this, you can skip that. Some salt. Some mixed herbs. Just to be sure, that's some cinnamon, just a pinch of cinnamon. Again, about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in there, okay? And now what we're going to do is very quickly, we're going to dip the plantain in the, on, um, in the egg, all right? And then stir that through real quick. We're going to roll it in there, just like that. just to coat the outside. Now, because I want a very, very nice crust, I'm gonna do a double dip. So I'm gonna go in again. Just get a second layer of coating, okay? I have another question for you, Chef. You go, all right, yeah, you can. You can Good sorry. evening. I want to ask a question. I noticed you didn't put um, water in your rice. You yes. Just so use oil, olive oil. What if your normal uh, rice you need to boil or something to make it a bit soft? So you're gonna see how how it's gonna get soft because I'm gonna put in some stock, and I'm also gonna put in some tomatoes. All right. So I'm also gonna use the tomato puree to just get some you know some intense tomato flavor in there and to also enhance the color. So that's the next step. So this is reducing away. And now back to this pan. What I like to do is I like to I don't like to work with too many pans. How is that risotto looking, chef? Yeah. 
just waiting for it to heat up. What so wasn't it? just one like that. All right, so I, I looked at that and it didn't look as, as, as creamy as I wanted it. So I'm gonna add just another little bit of stock. And then finally, that Parmesan cheese. Yeah, so I'm gonna toss that in there. Okay, and I'm just gonna stir that through. Like I said, this is a Nigerian twist to the traditional risotto. So it's not going to be as creamy as your traditional risotto. Because we still want it to be like jollof rice. <laughs> okay. All right. Risotto, 100% done. All right. Now we want to get some tasting plates together. Is this on? High heat. Prawns don't take very long, so while we're getting the plates going, we can switch that off. High heat, please. All right, Chef Eros, I'm being told we're kind of out of time. Okay. So can we get our risottos out, please? Yeah, so plates, please. Plates, plates, please. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can still come back tomorrow for more at the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair. Okay, um, can we just lay that out? So I'll come serve that. All right, I'm going to give this a quick taste. Can you give me a demo here and then we'll finish on the back? Yeah. I don't have any spoons to work with, so. Do we have any final questions for Chef Eros as the risotto comes out? I see a hand up. Just a little bit of that goat meat on top. All right, you want to keep going there? And let's get that prawns, those prawns going. Let's keep going with the rest of them, like just like that, and then I'll bring the prawns out once they're ready. That's okay. Let's not overcrowd the plate. Okay, while that's going on, Chef, could you please give them your Instagram handles, Twitter okay, so, handles? Okay, uh, my Instagram handle is at Chef Eros, at Chef Eros on Instagram. You can also follow at Breakfast at Eros and at I Am Cookie Jar. At I Am Cookie Jar, at Chef Eros, and at Breakfast at Eros. Please also, ladies and gentlemen, stay in your seats. The food will come to you. I have one more question, and I think we're going to make this the last one. Hello, Chef. Hello again. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to ask. If somebody want to work with you or somebody wants to probably have a, an exposure with you, what's the best thing that the person can do? If someone wants to work with me? Yes. Internship, okay. anywhere. Um, so the um, best thing to do would be to send an email you can send an email to, e to email accounts at, at careers at iamcookiejar.com as well as chef eros bookings at gmail.com. Okay, um, finally, right. um, Chef Eros, you mentioned uh, Jimmy something as your uh, food, as your food idol. Hello? Yes. He's over here, over here, sir. Okay. Yeah, I just want to say that you are my food idol. Thank you and very I love much, you sir. Lot. Thank you very much, sir. So, prawns, one side grilled, the other side I've grilled now is grilling. So while that's cooking away, I'm just gonna take some honey and drizzle the honey right over the prawns just like that. Okay? Making sure it covers most of the honey, most of the prawns. 
Okay? And then finally, I'm going to hit that with gari. So the gari is going to stick to the honey and bind with the prawns. Okay? And I'm going to flip that to the other side and do the exact same thing. Thank you. Is the risotto out yet? Yep. I don't see people eating though. We're waiting for this. This is the last bit of that risotto. One last flip to the other side. Just get that. Get a board, please. A clean board so we can cut this up because I think we can share this around, yeah? A board. Yeah. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up for the prawns. Okay. Just to speed that up, I'm just going to. Chop this up real quick, thank you. Just a little bit more there. I've been told you have to leave one plate for the commentary booth. Because you have to okay. talk to them about it when you have your interview, okay. Chef. All right. Keep going, can I have another tongue to start taking the other ones out? All right. Thank you. Please remember to take it to the back of the hall as well because they don't seem to be getting any in the back. I see a lot of hands up. Okay, you got that in there? Let's just send that back in there real quick. Let's see some raw parts. Just on a second. Okay. Do you have any fresh lemon in there? No. Okay. You have your, wine, your red wine vinegar there. All right. It's in the belly. In the teaspoon now. All right. Just some vinegar in there. Red wine vinegar. Just to. Should do it. All right, I think we should be done here, right? It's good. Back up the hall, please. Okay, do you want to help to me with the left. rest of this? Thank you. Thank you. All the way down to the end on the left. Please don't just stick to the middle. Make sure you take it to the left of the hall and to the right as well. Far end. Far end. Yes. All right, Chef Eros, I don't think we'll have time for our dessert. No, I don't think we have enough time for the dessert. Oh, that's a shame. But what were you going to make for dessert? Um, we're going to do a chocolate brownie along with a chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache and chocolate cream. So I'll tell you how to quickly make that chocolate mousse, which is probably the hardest part of it all. It's chocolate cream and, uh, sorry, whipped cream and chocolate, about 300 grams of chocolate. Um, so your semi-sweet chocolate with some cream. You just heat up that cream, pour it into the chocolate, mix it through until it melts, and then you whip some extra cream, and then you're gonna fold that in. You wanna add a little bit of gelatin into your chocolate, and the gelatin is just gonna help to hold that chocolate and let it set well. 
Sounds okay. very delicious. And I can't wait to taste it when you do make it sometime, hopefully this week. All How's right. How's the tasting going? Thank you so much, Chef Eros, for coming on today. And um, remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can always head over to his store and find out more about